Hello, Sydney Cusick here from Ontario Advisory. Today's video walkthrough is going to highlight an update related to Sales Navigator that has been rolled out recently um, that I think is, is really great. The way they've laid it out has been um, really beneficial for business development and prospecting. So they have updated the individual profile page in Sales Navigator to make it a little bit more efficient for you to take a look at, find the information you need. So that way you can customize connection requests, you know, make notes that you have um, and save them to lists. So one of the most um, noticeable updates to the individual LinkedIn or Sales Navigator uh, page is the background image. You can now see a person's background image that they have on their LinkedIn.com profile, which is now visible in Sales Navigator. And while it doesn't mean a lot, um, it does kind of give you an indication of how serious of a user they are. You know, do they have a somewhat built out profile? Because um, one of the easier ways to see if, if someone is or is not active on LinkedIn is kind of that background image. So we have the background image. Um, of course, we have the headline, location, connections, um, but what else is new is they really highlight the current roles um, up here as well. And you can quickly view job descriptions. Um, you can also very easily see where they have worked without having to scroll down. You also can access their contact information very quickly. Uh, see their LinkedIn.com profile, which is going to be a different view as we all know. And then, of course, it now allows you to search on Bing. Um, you still have your the ability to save to lists up here um, and to make any notes, send a message, and save them as a lead. But as we scroll down, one of the things that you can see is we ha now have their full about section in a little bit more of a digestible way. Before, it was um, on the you know, kind of at the top, um, it said see more, gave you like two lines, was really tiny, hard to see. And now they give you that full about section. What is also nice is the relationship piece. So it is giving you more ideas and suggestions on how to customize your message, your, your LinkedIn connection request. So that way you can make a personal increase the chance of them accepting your connection request and create that context. So as you can see, it's showing me Jim's recent activity on LinkedIn in terms of posts, comments, and shares. And it's also showing what we have in common. So Jim and I have 164 mutual connections, definitely something that I could note um, in here if we weren't previously connected. We both have a couple of um, same the same the same employer, some of the same businesses that we work at. And then of course, we both went to Washington College, which they highlight here. And I could definitely reference in a connection request to create that context of how I may know Jim or why we should connect. A very new and awesome um, update to the individual profile is the get introduced. So of course, Jim and I are already first level connections. So this is really handy when it comes to second and third level connections. But I can see how all of the different pathways into who could introduce me to Jim, create that warm introduction. Um, and I can kind of sort it by, you know, who are our shared connections. Um, since we went to the same college, who's a mutual alumni of ours that could potentially introduce me to Jim as well. Um, and of course, shared work experience. And then they organize it by position. Um, so, you know, in that C-suite position, you know, in that director level title, and then other. And of course, you can click view all, and that should give you a bigger picture into it as well. Um, if you were to cl click on ask for an introduction, it's going to create a message with you and this person. So that way the message can be sent really easily um, to create that introduction between you and the person you're reaching out to. 
Another interesting um, piece that they have added here underneath the experience section is that kind of a little summary right here. Jim has worked for six different companies over their professional career, which is nice to indicate, um, kind of gives you a couple of different avenues in if you were creating context based upon work experience. Um, and then it gives you the account insights. So I can see the account, view the account map for Intero Advisory, um, kind of similar leads at Intero Advisory to Jim, that if I was reaching out to Jim, I was also gonna reach out to a couple of other directors. It gives me that information pretty quickly. So that way in terms of business development and prospecting, it is allowing you to find the people you're looking for much faster um, and reach out quicker. And it gives you those account insights for the first couple of uh, positions. Um, and then of course, at the bottom, it is showing you if they are connected to your CRM. So if you have a CRM that hooks into Sales Navigator, I definitely suggest hooking that up. Um, if you are able to, it definitely makes it a lot easier when you're doing prospecting, business development uh, work, you're working with a team that perhaps, you know, sales team, director, to, you know, teams of directors, and you wanna make sure that you're not overlapping. Having that CRM connection is really helpful. Um, and right here, as you can see, view all education, skills, and more on LinkedIn. So it's not pulling all of Jim's information to his Sales Navigator uh, profile page. It's keeping some of that on LinkedIn.com because it's really highlighting the things that would be important for you to know related to business development, um, prospecting for your target audience, your target uh, prospects. So it really only is capturing your experience, how you can get introduced, relationships, and that about section. Um, I have found this, you know, I'm in Sales Navigator all day, every day, um, doing lead generation on behalf of my clients. And I have found this to be very helpful. Um, it is also helpful when, you know, someone's potentially not connected to a company page. You know, I'm able to go in through some of the lower level or different level employees at the company to then find who I'm looking for. Um, so, so it definitely is a new view. Um, I, I really have been enjoying it and I'm interested to hear what you, what you think. Um, do you like it? Do you prefer the other version? Um, have you used that relationship piece? I haven't, I haven't personally used the relationship piece um, too, too much for introductions, but again, I have used it to find um, some other people that fit the criteria that I'm looking for. So I, I've actually really have benefited from that and like that they have added this in there. I think for creating context in your connection requests, um, in, you know, to increase the amount of people that are accepting your connection requests, I think this is a really great, um, what they've done is really great to help you create those suggestions pretty easily, um, capitalize on them and create that context to just create warmer and more personalized connection requests. So let me know your thoughts. Um, and that's today's video walkthrough. Thanks.